Trigger. Aren't you a good boy? Not only you're one of the few studios whose works can be recognized simply by their style, but also even their failed works carry that carefree style of theirs, making it a lot more recognizable. Fanboyism? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't change the fact that it's better than modern Gainax. Little Witch Academia is a 25-episode continuation of two independent OVAs that can be basically described as Disney but Japan, though now it's more of an idiot female Harry Potter in the world of magic. But it's of little difference, if you ask me. The plot is as simple as it can get, but that's the charm of it. Atsuko Kagari, or Akko, a simple, a bit stupid and selfish girl of non-witch lineage, after watching a magic show made by Shiny Chariot, was inspired by her so much much, she enrolls at Luna Noa Magical Academy to become a witch and make people happy, but since she's a MUGGLE, then things obviously don't go as expected. Enter the usual, you're a dunce with terrible grades but a very stubborn personality. And due to a lot of circumstances, she obtains Chariot's magic wand called Shiny Rod and, well, becomes the chosen one. See what I meant about it being Harry Potter? Instead of Ron, we have Lotte Janssen, a kind and soft-spoken Finnish girl that loves Twilight. Our Hermione is a mushroom fetishist and specialist in being a goth chick and brewing potions, and instead of Draco we get Diana Cavendish and Andrew What's-His-Face, whose roles are basically being nobles and not MUGGLES! The whole anime is basically Akko doing Magic Academy stuff. Learns how to fly, how to cast spells, generally cause mischief, becomes a socialist, you know, the usual drill. You know, the usual drill is this anime in a nutshell, to be precise. If you have watched more than 3-4 cartoons, be they from the East or the West, you'll instantly recognize the familiarity in Little Witch Academy as it is the trigger anime in a nutshell. Here's your pretty but not constantly overly detailed graphics, giving it a bit of an old-school anime look. Here's your epic trumpet noises and music that will get you pumped but won't make you actually remember it. Here's your epic space battle and a fulfilling happy end. Here's your simple plot that will keep the child inside you happy and make you wish for more. Oh, and yes, here's your references to practically everything the authors could think of at that particular day. So, as you've probably already guessed, I liked the anime, but at the same time I recognize the flaws that can definitely make you hate it. The graphics can sometimes be too simple and reminding you of the old days, which can be a bummer if you like the shiny new ones. The story progression can be very easily broken into components, most of which have no connection with each other, save for the later episodes. The world building itself is not only the usual science rule, which is drool, and magic is so so old school, yo, but also makes little sense the moment you actually begin to think about it, and the same goes for the villain's plan in general. And of course, our main hero is a whiny, self-centered, egotistical cunt whose only job in the anime is being a nuisance to everyone, and carry the big dildo of awesomeness that is Shiny Rod. If you're one of those people seeking mature and new experiences or serious stuff, then I suggest you skip this anime as it'll probably annoy you. Those, however, that simply want to be entertained or are into that classic Disney or early Harry Potter charm will enjoy this anime a lot. It's a big, soft, fuzzy kitten that will make you happy or make you allergic, but no matter of your reaction, it will occasionally shit under your bed. 